What's up, YouTube? This is Kevin and Ian with Zero HP. Uh, we are here on May twentieth, uh, twenty first. Sorry, twenty first. Twelve thirty six in the so morning. Yeah, so twenty first. Um, and uh, we're gonna be doing another session of gaming news and chill. Um, last week we uh, messed up and we forgot well i messed up the audio messed up so yeah we didn't forget we did it <laughs> yeah we did it but the audio messed up so we didn't release it we decided not to release it so it was, it uh, was a short episode there wasn't a yeah. lot of news anyway so right exactly like, ah. so, yeah Bye. so this week however there's a lot of uh a lot of things happening um yeah. doom was released this week yeah. and i know you've had Last to uh, you had some experience with it and uh so i mean so far from what i've gotten from you really good Single player, great single player, yes. in fact. Um, mediocre uh, multiplayer. Yeah, yep. So, well, I mean, what are your impressions of the game so far? Well, I, I think the reason, like, the, the difference is because it's the same mechanics. Yeah. You know, you move pretty fast and it's very arcadey. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't translate very well into multiplayer games. Right. Because it still feels like, I don't know, it just kind of feels like Halo to me, honestly. Yeah. Like, okay. you don't move quite as fast in Halo, but, yeah. you know, you're just blasting at these armored marine guys <laughs> and shields. You know, you just shoot them until they, you know what I mean? Like, it's right. it's really similar. Um, and the reason that I'm really loving Doom right now is because it's so dissimilar from every other first-person shooter that's been released in a long time. Yeah, I get um, that. Because it's just that speed and that arcadiness that makes the multiplayer kind of just... Meh. And did I, not really work. Yeah, it translates I, to the single player so. I well. could see that. I could see that because that way that you, you're over that you're over the top ridiculousness doesn't get uh, unfair. I think in, in multiplayer where people compete, they want it to be fair, even. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's unfair because everyone's everyone's just, just zipping around yeah. and they're jumping up and down, and yeah. it's just it's just not. It, I'm, you just die, constantly die. I get yeah. a lot of kills too. Yeah. So it's just weird, like. You just, everyone, you're always, just, I'm just killing and dying, killing, killing it's like 1-1, one, one. I'm like 500, yeah. so I'm mediocre at the game. Right, right. Um, but that same freedom of movement yeah. and verticality and up and down and monsters and demons on every level and like running around and this, the whole loop is, you know, you're, you get, it, it's just amazing. It repeats the same thing over and over. You'd think it would be boring, but mm -hmm. it's just like the, the controls are so tight. And the impact of the weapons is like it's like you know like New Order, yeah. Like when you you just shoot a Nazi and they just boom, you know, like, yeah, yeah. You Definitely. just feel like they nail that, you know, with a shotgun, just blast a demon in the face. That's good. And then as you, it's old school, like you're, and I don't mean old school is like retro. It's not yeah. retro. It's, it's yeah. modern. Mm -hmm. But like you'll take a bunch of hits and you'll be down. Your shields at gone, and there's no take cover and get your health back. Like it's yeah. a it's a numerical health bar. Yeah. And the only way to get it back is to get the demons like into this stun state, which is basically like one shot away from the killing them. Yeah. And you just as you're running through this area, you basically <laughs> just almost run in circles. Yeah. You just click the right stick and it does this brutal execution and it spouts all this health that you pick up. Yeah. So that takes you back up to almost full health and now you're back and you, you like repeat this insane cycle of like, Oh, are you almost dead? You better go find the biggest motherfucker out there <laughs> and punch him in the face and tear his throat out so you can get your health back. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys it's are interested, if you guys are interested in seeing, I know there is a video on YouTube that has like nine minutes straight of like all the different executions in the game that you can <laughs> do with for uh, on the demon. So um, th yeah, I mean that's cool. I, I totally can see it. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I played the beta of the multiplayer. Again, yeah. I'm not. I wasn't a big fan of it. Gotta just try the of, single like, player. I think yeah, you might have it. It was just a video. little too arcadey for me. I mean, personally, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of it. But I can see how that in a, in a single player. Um, you know, experience could change and be actually fun. You know, I could see yeah, that. the enemies are more yeah. designed to deal with your speed and like yeah. the arcade kind of feeling of it. Yeah. Whereas instead of giving everyone around the same control scheme, it doesn't mm -hmm. work. Right. Agreed. Agreed. But um, so far, it's getting pretty good reviews everywhere. Yeah. Uh, really uh, good reviews. Speaking of reviews, um, we want. I want to personally. We want to personally talk <clears> about <throat> Total War Warhammer. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. Uh, it's getting such good reviews. Yeah, it's getting really good reviews, and I am so excited for this game. I've been pumped ever since the very first day they announced 
Warhammer. Oh yeah. It's just because Warhammer is one of my favorite franchises of all time, and I just I, I just knew that this is gonna be a good mesh. Um, a lot of it, uh, a lot of the reviews that I've read so far um, have said that they add realism into a fantasy world where and it works you know and it works they just they know how to they balanced it they kept it everything in check even the magic they kept the the creatures the giants whatever it may be they, they kept them in check and balanced to, compared to the other units relative to the other units and uh i, I think it's great and i'm you know so far getting really good uh reviews yes. from all of the sites um i am super excited to play it um keep an eye out especially here uh, you know, Ian and myself might be doing a co-op campaign as a let's Hell play. Hell yeah! So just keep an eye out for that. Us um, against the darkness, man. Yeah, the darkness. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, that's that's. What are your thoughts on it so far? What do you have? You, have you re read and like, you know, what kind of things have you taken away from those reviews? I'm just happy to see that it looks like the plague of technical issues that has followed Creative Assembly. Oh yeah. Has, doesn't seem to be cropping up in the reviews. Yeah. That might change when it gets released in mass. masses. Yeah. But that, because that's been the number one issue for me with Creative Assembly, is their games right. are great. And once I, you know, if you wait a few months and buy them after a patch, they're amazing. Right. You know, like Rome 2 was a fucking disaster on release. <laughs> but it's a great game now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the Emperor Edition. So. I that's I'm really glad to see it's getting like you know and it's not just getting in the eights where they're like oh this game was almost great yeah it's you know? getting really it's high getting nines. yeah it's nines, nines and tens like game of the and year stuff. territory yeah. that's crazy uh, right so that, yeah I'm just could, so could excited. be yeah it could be in that uh, discussion at the end of the year we have had yeah. some really good games this year um yeah, so it's been, it's been a solid year so yeah, far. it's been a very good year for games I mean we can't even forget in the same day that. It, Warhammer comes out, Overwatch comes out as well, mm -hmm. so I'm excited for that as well. I'm super yeah, I'm curious pumped to for see that. some reviews for that actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm pumped for that as well. But yeah, Total War. Um, you know, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. I mean, uh, Ian and I are you guys, as you guys may see or can tell from our channel, we love Total War. Yeah, it's Total a lot War, of I mean, it, video so, sources. Yeah, and uh, if you have any like questions or have any comments to add in. Uh, I personally will be playing as my own campaign. I'll be playing as the either the vampire counts, or um, I also enjoyed the dwarves. And who else was I gonna play? There's yeah, those two are so far are my. Yeah, I'm gonna two. go vampire counts or chaos warriors. I'm gonna yeah. go bad guy for my single player, yeah. and then if you and I want to do a co-op, I yeah. I was reading some reviews saying like the it's a lot of fun to play as the empire and the dwarves. Okay. Because you're on the defensive a lot. Yeah. Like even okay. if you beat it, if you beat back the first, you're defending against the counts and yeah. the greenskins, and yeah. then you're defending against the chaos warriors. So, yeah. Um, you know, so, so it's sort of like a, for a co-op thing, it's like you know you're back to back fighting. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fighting fun. all these armies. So I, that sounds like it'd be a good setup for a yeah. co-op campaign. Oh, definitely. You guys keep an eye out for that. It's gonna be super fun. Um, also, this week announced uh, Rockstar announced that they have sold 69, 65 million copies of uh, GTA V. That is ridiculous. 65 million copies. I mean, just to like give some perspective to that, yeah. like most game, most publishers. Yeah. They're like, look, if you sell a million copies, we're happy. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. IP and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, or, you know, or maybe if it's a bigger game, four to five million yeah. copies sold or like the, the goal. Yeah. <laughs> it's like 65 million copies. That's ridiculous. You know, to I, think, I, I mean, I, 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 that is a grand total. That is, that is a grand total because, uh, you know, they know. You know that they've re-released it on the PC yeah. and they yeah, added that's, things that's and all that stuff. And, PC, yeah. Xbox 360, Xbox One, right. PS4. But I mean, the fact that it sold 65 million, what that it's tells so... you, if you look at MPD charts for this year yeah. and last year, yeah. it's been on the top of the charts yeah, every since month. it's come out on yeah. the new, um, the the current new, gen. Yeah, it's Android. ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So like, it, that game came out in 2013. Yeah, it's so crazy. And it's still beating out like Call of Duty and all these other yeah. games like on top of the charts. And almost I, everything. And I think what it's it is, the it's the, the added element. I mean, the previous uh, Grand Theft Autos have been, all been great. 
Yeah. But the thing is, they added in GTA 5, is that online mode where you online. create your own character mm -hmm. and you go around just in the city, play, hanging out with your friends, doing random stuff yeah, that dude, you've you always thought around, about. Like robbing <laughs> convenience and stores and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah see things like that you just if you've always things that you've always wanted to do with your friends like say <laughs> rob a convenience store you can do in gta 5 you it's literally like, can do anything talk about like yeah not being serious like dude yeah you rock bank man i'd be the getaway driver yeah the, like, exactly <laughs> now you're actually doing it yeah exactly like, or hey hey let's go skydiving off of a mountain while we're riding our freaking mountain bikes like who what you know like Things like you that. You know, the thing I didn't love about the online was like people will just ride around killing you. Like yeah, you know, that yeah. was the only thing, and, it, and they kind of the reason I didn't stick with it. And, and and you know to their benefit, Rockstar did punish those people. They yes. they punished those in people. They knew that that was a plague. You know that's they punished those bad players, quote unquote, and put them on their own separate server. Keep the good players together. Um, yeah. But yeah, that yeah. means. I definitely, definitely enjoyed every minute that I had that game. That game was a terrific game. Yeah, it was absolutely. so good, and um, you know that's just that's so so good experience. So many good experience. But I also had some really really good experiences with another Rockstar game by the name of Red Dead Redemption. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I guess prefer that over GTA. Yeah. Guess what, you guys? Um, so this week. Uh, the studio that made uh, Red Dead Redemption said that they have upcoming news. Big regard, news. Yeah, big news. And they, they quote, soon. <laughs> so, <laughs> what the fuck that mean? Yeah, I was like, okay. Rockstar is usually not at E3, though. Yeah. Um, themselves. In fact, Sony, they're usually presented at the Sony press conference. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So we might see a Red Dead Redemption announcement, a yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2 announcement trailer. Yeah. Do you um, think we'll... what I'm hoping to see yeah. is yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out in whatever, 2017 or 2018 yeah. or whatever. But in a few months or you know like in you know this summer, yeah. Red Dead Redemption for PS4, Xbox One and Ooh. PC. Backwards compatible. Wouldn't that be or... great? Well, well I mean Or, or maybe a remaster. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, why wouldn't dope. you? I mean there's a lot maybe a lot Oh of god. It's, they, they work. Like remasters. They would push sell, dude. They would push a million dollars or a million copies with that. I, I would I buy they, one. I'd want to buy it again. Yeah, I, I would know. buy it I'll again buy it instantly. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, I would play that again immediately. I just it's been that long where you kind of you know what happens, but you want to experience it again, you know. Exactly. So exactly. I would buy that in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. That game was so good. That story was one of the best stories back, uh, one of the best games overall back in the 360 Prime days. You know, it's just yeah, one of the f most fantastic, fun games that you can ever just mess around and just hang out with your friends one again of the, with. One of the very small handful of games I've ever given a 10 to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So good. Um, so many good characters. The story was fantastic. There's some heartfelt moments. Oh, so. yeah. I mean, it's... it's I like that, that John Marston was yeah. such a good protagonist because he was, de you know, very flawed. Like, he wasn't yeah. some perfect fucking... Cowboy John cowboy Wayne. Cowboy with <laughs> shining white teeth, you know? Yeah. He, he oop, almost lost my mic again. At <laughs> once an episode, I lose it. Um... So I yeah he was the the writing acting performance like animation combat world building like it was mm -hmm. it's it's as close to a perfect game as you can get oh yeah definitely I mean you can't beat the West you know, the Wild Wild West come on you guys it's pretty rare actually yeah in games oh overall, ex extremely you know, rare I really enjoy it yeah I loved it I loved every minute of it yeah um, I, I, that would be great to play a remaster and then like a year later get this play sequel. the new sequel, <laughs> that would be so yeah. cool <laughs> I'd be down instantly be down. Mm -hmm. And most anticipated game. Um, so there's some other stuff that happened this week. Um, yeah. What else? Let me think. Do you, do you remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, it's something I'm messing with right now, actually. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, so yesterday, because we're yeah. basically still in our Friday headspace right. here. Right, yeah. Uh, Fallout 4, Far Harbor. Oh, DLC Far released. Harbor, right. Yeah, yeah. And I downloaded that shit and started playing it immediately. Yeah, <laughs> I played it yeah right you had hours. some experience with it. It's good, man. Um, it's you really said it's good. big, right? It's huge. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really even got to explore the whole map yeah. yet, but yeah. it's, yeah, it's, it's real big. Yeah. Um, and I, I just like it because, like, it has already done 
Like, you know the thing we liked most about Fallout 4 compared to Fallout 3 was, like... Yeah. They did a lot better job at developing characters? Yes, yes. Already right off the bat, like, that's a huge strength. They bring Nick Good. Valentine as a main character into the storyline. Sweet, okay. The, like, the reason that you're going to this island is really cool, and you mm -hmm. go there and you meet these three different factions who yeah. all live on the island. Right. And they are all contested over what to do about the problems on the island. Yeah. And I haven't gotten much farther than kind of meeting these groups. Right. Um, but I can already tell that it's going to be like another a character lot of driven choice and like customization yeah. like building how this all plays out. Wow, okay. Sick. That's their strength. That's the best part of Fallout is deciding what happens in the story and you know yeah. seeing the so consequences of it. I'm excited to play it. Uh, yeah. it's a really cool looking place. It's like Yeah all fogged in with like this radioactive fog and shit. It, it's Ooh. it's awesome like it's you know there's all there's new characters new weapons new gear Very just cool. uh well worth the the 24.99 yeah sure. yeah I was, I was just about to ask you that that's part of the season pass too if you had that right yeah if you yeah. bought it before what like march or whatever yeah, or you, got, march, you got it for 30 it. and they raised it to 50 yeah so that's good if you guys have the season pass and you guys are looking forward to that definitely check it out it's really cool sounds great um, it looks good too. So uh, it, it's you know Bethesda they always yeah. nail DLC like <laughs> they they've been on, like one of the only people bringing in add-ons that are not cash grabs. They're right legitimately you know worth your money and time. That's good. That's good. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, that's great. Um, any other? Let me see. Uh, yeah, I think there's um, some shit is going down with the division right now. I, oh I yeah, so the the, the VP still playing that. The, the VP came out saying this week that he knew or he you know he he knew that there He's was admitting, a la yeah. admitting yeah, admitting that he there was no end game content for the division. You know, and that's I I kind of agree, of course. And uh, yeah. yeah, so I mean, here's the thing. Um Destiny didn't have that much of an end game either. Um, to be to begin with, no, so no. Um, didn't have much of a base game. Yeah, <laughs> but so I, I mean I don't blame the division for this. I could see like so Destiny now versus Destiny in the first you know when it first launched oh, is way only, better. So, yeah, it's like completely different now. You know, it's like so I don't see I see that same thing happening with the division. You know, with the division it's just like a growing process. Like the uh, difference is like they've had a lot of problems with the division yeah. like with cheaters and hackers yeah. mm -hmm. and exploits and crashes like they've had a lot more like technical issues yeah. than destiny ever did yeah um server problems servers going down uh people able to like squeeze through walls and get like really high loot and then go into the you know basically skip hours and hours and hours and hours of gameplay and then go yeah. into the dark zone and just wreck house because <laughs> they just cheated you know yeah. they've had it they've had a ton of problems i think they've lost a lot of their player base yeah um but hopefully they can you know yeah. do what division or uh, division did uh yes. destiny did and just yeah. kind of turn it around and and rewrite the story and like they're doing the right thing already they're admitting the problems and yeah and I, I feel like the balancing issue is always going to be there, and that just comes with the territory when you make an MMO, MMO like game. You know, that's always going to be there because Destiny has its fair issues of exploits too. You had that infinite loot cave that they came out for a while. Mm -hmm. You yep. know, so it's just a part of the the MMO process. That's just how it's going to be, and I can foresee the same thing. It's almost identical from what's happening to Destiny, or Division now that's ha happened to Destiny. They're going to have, you know, they're going to lose a lot of the fans, but they'll ha keep a hold of the, the hardcore you know, fan base that they have, that people that really like the game, and they'll you know, they'll enjoy their experience as Division or Ubisoft make more from the for the game you know like right. they'll add new things they'll add you know, new zones they'll add new areas tools guns whatever right. um so Absolutely. Uh, yeah i mean yeah. they can there's there's plenty of time it's a platform they can fix it yeah and bring players back with with you know great new content right so, so yeah. i'll be curious to see that down the line yeah. for sure absolutely I, I, I foresee the same thing happening to them as destiny so yeah i agree yeah. completely so <clears throat> um but yeah did you have another topic as well yeah, there's, there's one more big one that we need to cover and okay. then that'll be it yeah um, so two things came from battlefront this and ea 
um, over this. Oh, week. the excuse. The great well, excuse. Well, the, the great excuse. <laughs> yeah. and the first the first thing that came out before that is that EA has announced that Battlefront 2 will they be will. released next year. It will. Yep. Um, the most outrageous part of that is that the last DLC pack for Battlefront 1 comes out in early 2017. <laughs> so, Fuck yeah. Guys, man. Yeah, yeah. So, so, I'm not buying any more DLC for so, Battlefront now because they're already abandoning it and moving yeah. on to a sequel within two years. Yep. Uh, totally ridiculous. They're they're making it so that it lines up with the movies. So I mean, that is if any that's the quintessential example of a cash grab. That yeah. that is exactly what it, they're like. We want to release a game, you know, side by side with the movie, so you guys can enjoy it. I'm right, like, because mm, the Star Wars game yeah. needs the marketing push of a film. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it just won't do well. Star yeah. Wars, you know, doesn't really sell. Yeah, right. It's exactly. fucking break, man. You can release that thing three years after a Star Wars movie. I mean, it's just, why it's don't sell they? Million copies again. Yeah, why don't they just make the game better? Like they add DLC throughout this whole time. There's nothing wrong with the game other than the lack of content right now, and you know, well, the and the single player. You know, so. Well, EA uh, Studios boss uh, Patrick Soderlund. Yeah. Uh, had this to say about it: "Quote the one thing that we got criticized for was the lack of single player campaign." It was a conscious decision we made due to time and being able to launch the game side by side with the movie that came out to get the strongest possible impact. <laughs> I think the team created a really good game based on the premise that we had. I would say the game has done very well for us and reached a very different demographic than a traditional EA game. Mm -hmm. So from that perspective, it's a success. Are we happy with the 75 rating he's talking about? Metacritic? Right, not yeah. 75? Uh, no. Is it something we're going to try and go cure going forward? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so, I just, I just, um, we'll see. I, don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's. The, I like the game. Like, I, I, I am a, I'm not a fan. I, I didn't even get a very high score, but yeah. I, I still play it, and I, I like it. Like, I, I enjoy yeah. it. This is kind of something in my nailed life. Star Wars, but it's yeah. Like, but here's it's, the thing: it's an empty box. He he said it in that statement. See, mm -hmm. these studios the possible impact. Yeah, these studios are forced. Force deadlines, force to release these games, uh, you know, almost unfinished. Like it, it's literally an unfinished game. Like there's, yeah. it's all multiplayer. That's it, you know. Absolutely. Like, and, and that's, that's because it's well, because these big player missions. Yeah, and... it's because these big name publishers. They're like, hey, uh, you know, we, we want to make sure that this game sells, so you're gonna need to release it every time a new Star Wars movie is released. And you know, being a studio, yeah. they're like, well, yeah, half absolutely. of our team. It's, um... You know, half of our team's working uh, on the DLC. Just, you know, it's it's EA. It's not yeah. only EA. Activision's yeah. pretty bad too. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's it's the best and worst thing, uh, yeah. the AAA gaming because all of these horrible corporate marketing things that happen really can ruin gaming and <laughs> like right. in a lot yeah. of ways. But at the same time, like if it weren't for the money of ea and yeah. disney like we wouldn't get a game like battlefront which i do want a game yeah. like that you it's know? Like, double edged sword you have to teeter have between to, those two you know yeah you gotta you gotta pick your poison sometimes and i think and that's why it sold 14 million copies which is yeah. very impressive I th so yeah we got our call got dropped so that <laughs> we're <laughs> we're back again uh so i was out as i was saying uh ea a few years ago was that company that um, basically bought out these smaller studios and you know they gutted them and put incorporated them into the EA umbrella you know and this is this is what they're too big for their own good now and they yeah, they can't absolutely they can't make mistakes that they used to because when they were smaller now they don't they don't seem to learn from stuff they just yeah they just kind of you know, even other big like Ubisoft like as annoying as they can be with their fucking you play and all that crap <laughs> yeah like we finally get to the point where they're like all right we we get it like assassin's creed syndicate didn't sell very well yeah we're gonna go back and kind of and rethink all this you know like right they can still put the brakes on stuff where ea is just like spit it out spit it out spit it out yeah, spit it out. yeah you know exactly. it's, it's just like yeah it, i definitely i i have respect for ea sometimes yeah because every now and then they make good choices i feel yeah. like like but it's just there's such a big lumbering beast that they're inconsistent. Like they have yeah. just as much bad shit as they do good shit. Like I I also want to mention that that article where you know the the higher brass of EA almost rejected the idea of Battlefield One. 
Yeah, he, you no, know? he did reject it. Oh, he did reject it. Okay, he see. He said, no way. Yeah. See, that's what I'm uh, saying. Like, he, said, he said everything everyone else has been saying, which, again, yeah. it's not... Schools don't teach World War One history. Yeah. <laughs> for some reason. So, you know what he said? He goes, oh, it's all trench warfare. It won't be fun. <laughs> you you clearly know nothing beyond <laughs> that about World War One. There's fucking a lot to, in that yeah. war you can do. So, just right off the bat, like he was just gonna throw that idea away yeah. without even giving them a chance. Exactly. You know? Like things like that almost slipped through the cracks. Like, now that leads me to believe what has been brought up to them that oh, they okay. have said no to before, like mm -hmm. that we were missing out on. You know, I'm just like I know it's like. It's asking too much from a consumer standpoint for a like a big company like that, but it I think nowadays the you know now that the trend is kind of shifting back to non annual releases, you know like uh, Ubisoft mm -hmm. gets it, uh, yep. you know EA gets it. They're like you know we have to replay these. Except for with sports games. Yeah, with sports games, that's you know, but uh, I wouldn't mind that if that skips you know an annual release here and there too because like all it really is sometimes is a roster update you just know? release like a huge like roster yeah. and like, you yeah. know like a a 9.99 yeah roster update for the yeah. next year and then give the people give the development teams a chance to actually do something do some good stuff improve innovate you know all that good right. stuff but uh i mean again that it's just I guess it's not in the business practice of them can, they can do that you know it just doesn't yeah. make any sense the industry needs to change for EA to change I guess is what and the only know. way that happens you know not to give the whole like you know if you don't vote it doesn't count or yeah. whatever but like when you buy a game you vote with your wallet so stop yeah. fucking buying Call of Duty yeah stop buying Call of Duty exactly so, bitch about it, like, oh it's the same shit and then they go yeah. buy it on opening night well yeah. Activision yeah. is going to keep throwing it out there. If you keep buying it, I don't know. Syndicate, I was just saying it. Syndicate yeah. didn't sell that well. And they were like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Okay, I guess we can't do this anymore because yeah. we didn't make, you know, we didn't make enough money. Exactly. Exactly. Like, we have 100% control over all of that. Totally. Yeah, yeah you so, as a consumer. Easier said yeah. than done. I bought yeah. Battlefront already. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I did. Like, I bought yeah. it. It's got Star Wars on it. And we <laughs> hadn't had a Star Wars game in a long fucking time. Yeah. You know, so, so I gave in and I bought it. You know, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, so you, the consumer, just make good choices. You know? It's yeah. Just don't, yeah. you know, if fall into if that. If you're going to complain about it. Yeah. You know? Then don't buy well, the game. Like, so I wouldn't fault people for buying Battlefront 1. Yeah. But if 2 comes out, because you know they're going to release them every other year now. Yeah. So if two comes out and it's like the same thing, yeah, don't ever buy it again. Yeah, exactly. Ever, yep. like, and 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 if enough people do that, they'll figure it out. You know. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's exactly true. You as a consumer, everything that any publisher or any studio does is for you. So mm -hmm. you control them. You yeah. Know? So all the money that they need is so, coming from our wallets yeah, so, and our bank. And yeah. that's why I think. You know, that's why Kickstarters have been such a big thing, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, there are like people throwing out ideas like, hey, how would you, would you guys want to do <clears> this? <throat> like that Dark Souls board game? Yeah, that it looks thing, so sick. It already got like, it was like asking for $50,000 uh, starter. Yeah, fee, million, you know? didn't it? It got a million, million yeah, a million dollars within like a day. I'm uh, like, see, like you do that stuff and they're like, hey, do you guys want a Dark Souls board game? I think I'm hell gonna yes. Out. Yeah, I was exactly, I'm like, you hell yes. That, like, the little pieces, the little yeah. figures are beautiful. I know, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, you consumer, you guys have more power than you think yeah. when it comes to this type of stuff. So, um, just make sure... You don't buy games and complain about. It. If you are gonna buy the annual release, don't bitch about it. There, that it's your fault for buying it every year. Like people that complain now about Call of Duty versus like when we stopped playing Call of Duty after like Modern Warfare Two was released. And I'm like, this is the same game. I'm like, I, I, I got the, I hit that with Black, the first Black Ops. Yeah, the Black Ops. I yeah, played the yeah. first Black Ops. I'm like, I'm done with Call of Duty. Yeah, I never exactly. bought one again ever. Yep. Yep, see, and that's there. So, and I'm thinking about looking at Infinite Warfare because yeah. it is a little different. It's a little different, yeah. That's exactly. Yeah, I'm giving it a chance versus like uh, yeah. Modern Warfare Five. I'm like, oh my god, yeah. which is like <laughs> somewhat advanced. <warfare>. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> somewhat you know, exactly. Like, but it's yeah, it's an M4, but it has like a it has, holographic yeah. scope. It has, <laughs> yeah, it has like a it has like a touch screen that pops out of the the freaking <laughs> aim thing or whatever, or it has like Jarvis installed into your gun or whatever. But it's still like recognizable. Modern. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. I'm but so, yeah, it's so over, that's that's so, that's our uh, lecture to you as a consumer. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> um, just Happy 
<laughs> yeah, happy Saturday. Just let us know if you guys have any comments or whatever down below. I mean, what games you're looking forward to this year, what games you think should be Game of the Year so far, or in the talkings of uh, Game yeah, of the Year. Do, do you have any that, you ha that you're that you thinking are in the in the conversation yeah. so far yet, like for the first half of the year? Uh, me personally? Yeah. Um, I've, <clears throat> I haven't really played a lot of AAA's titles, so I'm kind of disqualified from that. But um, so far, I am enjoying the heck out of stardew valley i am loving oh, that game i need to so, play that game the game dude. is fantastic it's so good it, you can just drown just so many hours just so many hours I need to, to play it. it i need to play it so yeah, bad yeah it's a it's a really good game um i have did buy no actually i haven't bought really many triple a titles that total war and overwatch are going to be my third first triple a title purchase this year just because you guys know I am the budget gamer. I don't really <laughs> like to spend a lot of right. money on things that I know is just going to be like, eh, I'm not, I'm going to get tired of it. So, yeah, oh, well, I, I played, the, the, the Division come out this year or last year? Yeah, this year, March. Oh, it did come out this year. Oh, so mm -hmm. I did buy that so as well. You play then. the Division, yeah. Yeah, so eh, it, that was all right. It wasn't game of the year, though. So. I traded in already. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what are your games so far? I, oh, I know. I mean, for the viewers. Uncharted 4 and Yeah, Doom. yeah, see, right so. I know, are both excellent excellent well uncharted is my game of the year so far it's yeah it's just cool. been blowing me away like every every corner i still haven't beaten it but i'm gonna actually beat it this weekend nice very nice so yeah there you go you guys got some good recommendations for games if you're looking for some stardew God, valley if you like old doom just get this doom <laughs> there like, you go they, it's so good there you go that's all you need to know and uh, i think that's it for tonight you guys yeah, that'll do it. That's uh, gaming news and chill. Uh, May twentieth or twenty first, depending. You know, you know, whatever. Yeah, both. Uh, yeah, both. <laughs> for us. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe as always down below. And any last thoughts, Ian, or anything else? No, just uh, you know, keep an eye out for all of the videos that we'll be releasing almost every day. We release one, so yeah. Thanks for See watching. See you in the again. comments. Yep. Peace. Later.